more content. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready to get your mind blown? One angry New York City Puerto Rican decided to start a radio show. Determined to piss the world off by shoving a mirror in front of society's face. He kicked them in the balls. What are you? Who are you? This. This is not a test. This is a broadcast transmission. We're going to stay on the air. And now, oh. and now, oh. the windy, the windy. Welcome to the Crowd Chart Radio Show where we kick the issues in the balls. We are on an active war against bullshit. We would do anything and anything and everything to expose bullshit. The ends sometimes justify the means. So if you're angry, want the truth exposed, and strap in the prepared to be shocked. This is Smash Mouth Talk. If you can't accept that, then fuck off. I'm your I'm your host, Louis B. I takes no bullshit from nobody. It's actually exposed the bullshit of society. And chop it up into easy to digest chunks for you. Today won't be any different. Today we're gonna be talking about something that that um I think I've been dancing around this subject for a very long time. Uh ever since um I guess ever since I became a Trump supporter, this is something I've been noticing. I've many, 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 many times told my experiences of uh how white comics in New York have called me a race traitor for being a um, for being a Trump supporter, uh, basically being racist, basically you using racist like la- feeling justified in using racist language. Well, as you probably see the title of this um, of this podcast, white liberals perpetuate racism. Uh, we're going to go through um, some articles here uh, pertaining to that um, subject matter. And, um, yeah, we're going to, in fact, I'm going to see if I could call a call the liberal bookstore and see if we could uh, talk about this. But, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm probably something that's probably going to have to like record that. So, anyways, this article from the Huffington Post. Ugh, ugh, sorry. Um, it, that's just, uh, yeah. Huff Post. Ugh, ugh, so, um, 10 ways white liberals perpetuate racism. Uh, the goal of the article was to show blah, 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 the authors, da, da, okay, blah, 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 blah. Ugh. Eh, fuck it, let me just read the whole fucking article to you guys. Maybe get it in context. Uh, the goal, uh, that last week, the article was published in this, uh, uh, an article was published in the September issue of the Atlantic titled The Coddling of the American Mind. The goal of the article was to show that college students, a.k.a. millennials, are increasingly rigid in their language, especially especially those words or phrases involving race, gender, religion, or any other target, uh, target status. This is commonly referred to as political correctness. Also, identity politics. Um, the author's thesis was that college students are increasingly demanding, uh, demanding protection from words and ideas they don't like. 
They go on to conclude that the political correctness is unhealthy and disastrous for an education and mental health. Which is true. Which is true. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I haven't read the article, so I, I'm not really commenting on the article itself. That the article that they're referencing. Um, it's... Um, like, honestly, do you see the... Like, like... Do you really think these like college students are like, oh, that uh, we need a trigger warning or you need to check your privilege and blah, blah, blah. Like it was like lampooned by South Park via the, the PC principal character. It's not it's it's mostly intellectual masturbation. It's uh, uh, like, I mean, it's it's. It's not genuine. It's not like these people actually care about these certain groups. They just want to look woke. They just want to look like they, they just want to seem like they care for brownie points. Not that they actually do care. Because if it really came down to it, will these people jump in front of a bullet for a black man? Or would they jump in the bullet for a gay man? Or would they jump in front of a, bu- uh, front of a bullet for a trans person? No. They'd be like, don't watch him get shot and throw it in prayers on Facebook. Thoughts and prayers on Facebook. Thoughts and prayers on TikTok. Thoughts and prayers on Instagram. Thoughts and prayers on fucking Snapchat. Thoughts and prayers on my dick. Wait, what? So anyways. Thoughts and prayers. The, pho- the photograph that accompanied the, the article was of a small child, age three or four, sitting at a desk with the words college written across his sweatshirt. The Atlantic was sending a clear message that college students are immature babies. It's true. They are, though. They have no gumption. Everything annoys them. I mean, it's 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 fucking like embarrassing. Like they have no fucking pride in themselves. They come, they go to class. I mean, look, I I live by a couple colleges. I see them. They look like they're fucking homeless. They dress like they're homeless or or they're prostitutes. Probably they all are. And they, that's how they go to class, like with no fucking self respect. I read an article with this belief. It reminded me of the language language debates of the 60s and 70s when college students were at the front line of the uh, desegregation choosing to use words that appear rigid in their day, but in historic terms were at the vanguard of contemporary thought about race. The word African American or LGBTQRSTUV may have sounded long and verbose and were discounted by the established. What? They're not even getting to the fucking point. Blah, 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 blah. Like me, you probably uh, voted for Barack Obama, were outraged by the verdict in the Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, blah, 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 Eric Garner. You even want hard to check your white privilege at the door when going to the Black Lives Matter protest march. We're, we're, we, we are one of the millions of white people willing to make the change from the, for the betterment of our country. And we actually live in a blah, blah, blah. That, that all men are created equal. At times, though, duh, duh, maybe maybe... Maybe years of racism have made it hard for people of color to trust white folks, even Atlantic Magazine liberals like you and me. Or maybe we are saying or do I'm, I, I'm really just don't give a fuck about this. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like I'm reading this. I'm like, ugh, ugh. maybe the millennials know best uh, micro <laughs> micro invalidations are. A momentary acts of uh, that serve to invalidate the very people of color we care about. B 
These unconscious in, uh, interactions perpetuate the hopelessness. Ma- ma- what? Many African American, Latinos, Native Americans, and other people of color feel in this country. Many of you may stop reading now, thinking, "Here are here we go again with the political correctness." Yep, <laughs> and I'm a Latino. You say to yourself, I'm not perpetuating racism. I'm certainly not invalidating people of color. Donald Trump may be, but not me. <laughs> you know what? Okay. If I get jump in with this. First of all, yeah, you know, okay, fine. The micro uh, invalidations are usually directed of, uh, of people of color who are Trump supporters. It happens a lot. It, it still happens to this day. There's not uh, white people have come up to me and say, "You're a confused Puerto Rican." I'm com- I'm confused. Oh, you voted against your own interest. The fuck you know what my interests are? How do you know I'm confused? What makes you think? Oh, what he did to your fucking island? What he did? He didn't do nothing to my fucking island. It was nature. And it was also fucking liberal politicians that are on the island that stole money. And that don't give a fuck about their own country people. But don't act like you give a shit. Because you know what? When when Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico, thoughts and prayers on Instagram. Thoughts and prayers on Facebook. Thoughts and prayers on TikTok. Thoughts and prayers on Snapchat. Thoughts and prayers on my dick. Wait, what? <clears throat> Racism just d- won't die because its roots are deep. No, well, the thing is, I mean, look, I don't know if if I buy that all white people are racist, uh, but I'm willing to to concede that all liberal white people are racist. All the white people on the left that feel uh, somehow that I've betrayed them because I don't choose to uh, vote for the left. Ah, those are the racists you talk about. When I'm wearing my Trump hat, when I'm wearing when I'm wearing my Trump hat, uh, you know you got you got hey, whoever's watching. Please uh, say hello. Please say hello on the chats. You know, you got these fucking people that, that like, oh, oh, you, you are betraying your people. Uh, like, I've been called the spick, a nigger from, from f- these fucking people. They feel justified because, oh, you support Trump. Yet they can't tell me how he's been racist. They can't give me not one fucking example of him being racist except these unfounded rumors oh his well, his dad was kkk his mom was kkk like come on ooh one article one article and it turns out the picture that they were used it was fucking photoshopped Oh, well, he wasn't giving in to me, but no, no, no. He wasn't renting people of color. He's a racist. Okay, what about the hundreds of things he's done for people of color? Hmm? Opening up his golf course to allow Jews and blacks. Uh, having a home, a black homeless woman uh, live rent-free in one of his buildings. Hmm? Hell, let's look at what he's done in office. Signing legislation so that way uh, there could be economic stimulation in the inner cities. Uh, Prison reform, which, hey, Obama didn't do that. He could have gotten that passed easily, but he he didn't think to do that. Oh, but but it was brought to his attention by Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. So what? what? Oh, you mean we have a president that actually listens to the people? That actually listens to people that, 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 you know, hey, that's a good idea. Maybe we should do something about that. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Uh, Let's get this done. Oh, my God. How is that? First of all, how is that even a fucking argument? I've heard that fucking argument. Oh, well, because Kanye West said it. And? 
and well, I mean, who do you, who you, what would you want? Like honestly, if you're if you want something passed, and if it's in the best interest of the you uh, you uh, American people, why don't you fucking send st- movie stars and whatnot to him and and suggest some shit? Hmm. Hmm. Work with the man instead of fucking bashing them every 10 seconds. Work with the man. He's the president. There's nothing you can do until 2020. Work with him. Well, till November of 2020. Like, what's the fucking... Like, I'm, I do not... I don't get it. I do not understand. Instead of fucking bashing him, like, he's a racist on TV. He's a racist on Instagram. He's a racist on Facebook. He's a racist on TikTok. He's a racist on Snapchat. He's a racist on my dick. Wait, what? Kanye West had to bring it in. Kim Kardashian. Nah, 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 that makes him invalid. Like, what? Talk, just work with the man. Oh, uh, you're you you you're betraying your own people. Oh, okay, I mean, no, I'm not. Hmm. Like, honestly, I don't want my people on fucking government assistance. I don't want my people... I want my people making so much money that they don't need the government for shit. I want them truly free. I want them doing so well. They don't need to worry about the government cutting them off. I want my... I want Puerto Rico to do so well that if the U.S. decides to say, we don't want you as a protectorate anymore, or we don't want you as a commonwealth anymore... We be just fine. Like who we beefing with? Nobody. Just give us a fair shake and get the fuck out of our way. I mean, I blame Clinton. Clinton did a lot of dumb shit to our to the to, to Puerto Rico. The bombing of Vieques. Uh, you know, the fucking um uh getting rid of the tax shelters that were there that, that provided jobs to Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, maybe I just uh, you know bring that back. So that way we can get more jobs to Puerto Rico. Just, just the uh, 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 freaking um, lobby, lobby for that. Hey, bring back the tax shelter in Puerto Rico so businesses can flourish there. So that way Puerto Ricans could go back to work, and that way they don't have to come to the mainland. They could stay in Puerto Rico and not eat up freaking uh, public resources. Duh. I mean, that sounds like a fucking no-brainer. I just love how people are like, oh, I want you to invite me to like my page, but they don't fucking support me, not in the fucking least. They could eat a fu- whole fucking bag of baby dicks, tell you the truth. Hey, let me remind me like my page. You don't support me in the least. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of motherfuckers that... Ugh, God. Anyways, let me not get into that. <laughs> Stay on topic. Stay on topic, Louis B. Stay on topic. <laughs> okay, here. Number one, denial. Denying denying we could ever have racist thoughts or that we reap the benefits as a member of a majority race is a common defense of liberal white Americans. By denying the existence of our racist thoughts, we negate the death of our racial divide. First of all, okay. I mean, I, I'm not going to defend, I'm not trying to defend them, but this is such a fucking, um, damn, what's the word? 
I don't want to say cop out. It's not a cop out, but it's just this is this is just mind control. It's like you, yeah. Let's keep them thinking that they're racist and and give guilt trip them. Uh, um, this is uh, uh, what you call it, gaslighting. This is gaslighting. First of all, you're 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 saying, oh no, you're you're still racist. No matter what you do, you're still racist. No matter what white people do, you're still racist. You're white, you're still racist. I see a lot of fucking white homeless people outside. And I see a lot of people of color in the homeless shelter I work out of. A lot. There's actually more people of color than any white. There's only like one white person out of the whole building that I work out of. Hmm. Hmm. Like, honestly, what do white people have to do so that way they're not racist? I mean, honestly, the only thing I can think of is, hey, don't hate someone based on their color. Oh, you're not? Congratulations, you're not racist. But this constant gaslighting, I mean, look, this 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 could be racist in, the, in and of itself. You constantly say, you're racist, you're racist, you're racist, you're racist. No matter what I do, I'm still a fucking racist? Like, how am I supposed to redeem myself? That's the problem with the left. There's no fucking avenue to redeem yourself. Once you make a mistake, even if it's one that you didn't know you made, there is no forgiveness. There is no room to change. There is no room to grow. They expect extreme perfection. And if the rules change and you didn't know, you're in trouble. This is why there's a cancel, cancel culture now. That they keep the uh, trying to deny. They keep, they 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 cancel people for shit you said. Like Dave Chappelle said, if you said some shit eight years ago or years ago, and it comes back up, they use it against you. No matter how much you've grown, no matter how much you've changed, no matter how many times you apologize, you are never allowed to work and fucking earn a living at, at anything ever again. They want you to starve and die. And seriously, if you really think about it, who the fuck does that benefit? It doesn't benefit them. It doesn't benefit anybody. Like, honestly, if somebody was screaming spick on the, uh, on the corner, what good is it for to me? What good does it do for me if they get fired from their job? They're not going to give me that job. They're not going to give me his salary. I'm not going to benefit at all. Like, honestly, you know, just ignore them. <laughs> That's the only thing. Like, just ignore them and, and live your life and fuck a white bitch. <laughs> and that's how you, and, for, and tell you the truth, that's how you piss off these, uh, th- these neo-Nazis, these white nationalists. Because I talk to them all the time. And once you start talking about, well, look, I've, I've fucked white girls. In fact, I'm expecting my first kid with a white girl. Oh, they go insane. <laughs> they go insane. <laughs> Hell, these especially these Christian identity motherfuckers, the, the, the white guys that believe that they're the original 12 tribes of Israel. Like the like the um like the ultimate universe uh black Israelites is the white Israelites. <laughs> Yeah, you tell them, oh, look, I only fuck, I only have sex with white girls. They get pissed. <laughs> Anyways, but no, it's like denial. Like, no, what if what if you don't think, what if you don't say the N word or nigger or spick or anything, or you don't believe that you are better than someone based on your color of your race? Hmm. What if? You know, it is not your fault or your it wasn't you through your own doing that you got a job. What if it's the racism of someone else that gave you a job or the position that pays a lot? Like honestly, if if I was if I was if I had a job, well I have a job, but let's say at my job I was given, just given, don't have the skills, don't have the education. 
but was just given a a a, um, a managerial job because the company is owned by Puerto Ricans, and I just happen to be the only Puerto Rican that's there. So they decided to promote me. I wasn't aware I had an advantage. I wasn't expecting an advantage. Does that make it my fault? Like, what am I going to do? Say no to the job? No. Like, you guys got to... I, I, and it was here. Oh, here it is. Number two, shame and hurt when the focus remains on white on the on the white person and other emotional wounds, and, and our emotional wounds. This is classic de, uh, deflection and redirection. I'm so embarrassed. I said that. This common phrase can be heard when something hurtful may have been said to a person of color. They truly. Uh, the truly injured party, however, remains unrecognized by having the courage to confront a racial slight. A person of color is made to feel that they have misread us and hurt our feelings. Okay, let me explain why I'm laughing my balls off right now. It's because I've made white people feel like shit. I've made white people feel like shit. For uh, for this. Like, whenever they come, I'm like, wow, that's really racist. That's, that's, uh, that's really racist. Why, why, why would you say that to me? You know? How can you? Like... <laughs> Or I go, I'm sorry, Massa. Asa goes the bags to the plantations. I didn't mean to offend. <laughs> you just make them feel like, you just make them feel like total fucking waste of space shit. Asa, sorry, Massa. Asa goes the bags to the to the plantations. <laughs> so, oh man, it's just. Whatever. Oh, man. Let me. uh, Oh, wow. It's almost. It is. uh, Oh, okay. So anyways, I'm going to take a quick break and we're going to continue this. But I am going to play a song. A nice song. A song about sex. No. um, uh, Actually, let me play this. Ah, here, let me play this PSA and um then we're gonna go play a play a song. Are there white people moving into your neighborhood, coming dressed in their vintage clothing, looking just goddamn ridiculous? And are they moving in and driving up the rent and uh, making it very expensive to live in a neighborhood that used to be very affordable? Well here's a solution. Straight from the factory. Locks and knives may the race wars begin. A message from the Crotch Out Radio Show and the Ass Council.
That was Section 8. I mean, oops, sorry. That was Someday Static with lead singer Malin Bray, who hopefully I'll be getting some new music from soon. Soon. Um, Because Someday Static doesn't exist anymore. Oh, man. I, I, I actually got to see them live a few years ago. It was fan. They, they're fantastic. She, she's a fa- she has a fantastic voice. The band was fantastic. I don't know why they split up. I hate when that shit happens. It's like, come on, dog. (laughs) Anyways, we're talking about white liberals perpetuate racism. As uh, as I'm reading this uh, Huffington Post article, because look, I've had I've had personal. um, What's up, Craig? Craig from New uh, New Mexico. How you guys doing? Uh, Shout out to the Proud Boys over there. Shout out to the American Guard over there. Shout out, shout out, shout outs. Mad respect, mad love to to Craig. Uh, my my sending out my love to the to the fam. All right, so um, we got uh, so back to this article here. We've already talked about how they they discuss denial, discuss shame and hurts. Like it's you know, they really like this whole article so far in the Huff Post is like look. They're not even touching on real shit. They're like, oh, how are they still racist towards people on their own side? But like I said, they've been racist. They 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 are allowed to be racist towards people who uh, towards people of color or color people who are Trump supporters. How many times I, I've been called a misguided Puerto Rican, a confused Puerto Rican, a spick, a nigger? Um. Uh, you know, for for supporting Trump, I'm not even trying to to. I'm not sugarcoating it. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not trying to like shock you. But these are actual words that have been told to me. Oh, that you support Trump. That's why Hurricane Maria hit your fucking country. Like, whoa, really? And they feel justified in saying that shit. Oh, you're a race traitor. Excuse me, white person. Like, they feel justified. Yet, this article only is talking about how how white liberals, and this could be extended to white communists, white Antifa, because, of course, they're racist, because, I mean, look, Tiny, I don't know what happened to Tiny, Tiny, uh, Tiny Tulsa from uh, uh, Seattle Proud Boys, I don't know what the fuck happened to him. He disappeared. Um, I've had him on this show. Uh, I was there when he took his second degree. It was um, ah, he's a brother. He's a he's a really solid brother, man. And, and like, but the, they had the nerve. White guys had the nerve to attack him. So if that ain't racism, because it's like, oh, you're not on the plantation, boy. Get. Pew. You're right. they they treated him like a runaway slave. They treat people of color who support Trump like runaway slaves. Like runaway slaves off the fucking plantation. It's um It really just comes down to this. It's um, <laughs> it's some wild shit. It's like okay. So, anyways, go back to this here. Um, uh, narcolepsy and ignorance shutting down. Okay, number three, narcolepsy and ignorance shutting down or going blank is refer, uh, referred to as race related narcolepsy. Race re- racism retains a foothold when white people reach a threshold in their racial sensitivity and invoke their white privilege to check out and go silent instead of sticking out the racist awareness of process. Okay. Oh, so, so basically if they fight, get fucking frustrated by constantly being called racist, no matter what the fuck they do. And it's like, I fucking give up. That is further proof of them being racist. 
That's basically what they're saying. <laughs> so this, like, honestly, this is gaslighting. This is gaslighting. Join us on this side. There is no gaslighting on our side. <laughs> like, cut the shit. Like, honestly, on our side, you are held accountable for your actions and not because you have a certain skin tone. You are held accountable for your actions. You rise and fall. You fail or succeed by your own perturb. If I'm using that correctly. <laughs> Sounds like something we used to call each other in the 90s. Yo, that nigga's a perturb. Yo, these are some perturb ass niggas. Yo, these pick be perturbed, John. Stupid. I'm dumb. So, so it's like, what? Like, honestly, uh, it's like, yo, like, if I'm getting called a racist all the time, no matter what, I fucking will check out. As a person of color, I, as a black thing, I'll be like, you know, whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it. You mean no matter what I do, you're still going to call me a piece of shit? No matter how much good I do, no matter what I do, no matter how much I fucking try to grow, I'm always, you're just going to continue throwing that whole racist shit in my face? Then fuck it. Then fuck it. Like, I'm just going to stay shut then and not do a damn thing for you. This is gaslighting. And first of all, and if you really want to change somebody, hey, hey, progressives, hey, liberals, how's about instead of fucking calling uh, people, uh, 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 um, minority Trump supporters, black, Hispanic, Asian, Jewish Trump supporters, calling them names, feeling like we betrayed you, like you own us. How's about you tell these white people to stop being racist towards us if you are so against racism? Hmm? It shouldn't be just... Like, honestly, if racism is so bad, if you think it's such a problem still in 2019, you should not allow them to use it as a weapon or as, as a way of argument with someone on the other side of the aisle. It, that's a no-brainer. That's a duh. like explain that shit to me. Like, uh, like no matter no matter what I do, no matter how many times I freaking try to prove myself, I'm still gonna be called a racist. You know what? Honestly, I I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, like, no matter what anyone did, a Trump supporter did. No matter how much they try to prove that they're not a Nazi, they get called the Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. And they're like, at some point, they're like, you know what? If, if no matter what I'm going to do, I'm a Nazi, then da 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 how Hitler then? Like, fuck it. I'm going to be the biggest Nazi on the fucking planet just to piss you off. Translation, you are creating said Nazis. You are creating said racism artificially. And they probably, they're not even real Nazis. They're not even really down for the Nazi shit. They're not down for the racist shit. But you just, oh, are so happy. I'm talking to the leftists here. I'm talking to the left. You're so happy with painting someone in the fucking corner, painting them in a fucking, uh, you know, backing someone up, backing someone up until their back is up against the wall, trying to freaking, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, What the fuck is that? No, trying to fucking uh, uh um gonna sun them, trying trying to uh dominate them that you don't realize that at some point people are gonna start swinging back. Like you can't back a cat into a corner or its claws will come out and fuck you up. People are like that. People you paint us into a corner, we're just gonna fuck you up. Cause at some point we there would like and this is this is what the left will never fucking understand. 
You keep backing us into a corner. You keep backing us in the right of, into a corner. You keep backing anyone that supports Trump, anyone that's a libertarian, anyone that's a that that that's a, 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 an anarcho capitalist, anyone on the right. You keep calling us racist. You keep calling us. Uh, you keep backing us in the corner. Keep making it so hard that to, to find the job, trying to get us fight. We are going to fight back. Because at some point, we're not going to have anything to lose. And you're going to make it dangerous for you. I'm not making threats here. I'm not making a threat. This is just human nature. If you make it hard for me to live, I, uh, you know, there's going to come a point where I'm just going to make the decision. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. If I'm going to die, someone's going down with me. I mean, I don't know if that's what you want. You want you want you want to keep pushing us, pushing us, pushing us till we fight back. So that way you guys could gaslight us again and be like, we're victims. But this is what you're doing. I mean, thank you. Go ahead. Continue eating your own. Continue, and if they're smart enough, they'll come on our side. Because ever since I've been with the Proud Boys, not one has called me a spick. Not one has called me a nigger, not even as a joke. Not one instance, not one instance of racism. And I don't feel like I'm a token. I'm not treated like I'm a token. At all, at all. Not like how how they treat uh, people of color, black people, Latin people as tokens on in the in the left side in the liberal side in the in the communist side all right back to this huff po article <laughs> so um apology and folk com- com- compassion like <laughs> i'm so sorry i feel your pain this is an example of a def- uh, deflective technique many white people use to draw attention away from their initial biased encounter. So you can't even apologize. Hello, they're not even letting you apologize. They can't. They won't let you apologize, even if you make a mistake and realize you make a mistake. You are not allowed any side. There's, there's no fucking, <laughs> there's no slack. They give you no slack. There is no quarter, no quarter given. <laughs> you are not given any type of reprieve. You can't even that not like this is why this is why when you get in trouble with the left, you don't apologize. Never apologize for shit. Tell them to go fuck themselves post haste. <laughs> just, just, just. <coughs> oh man, it's tis the season. Oh man. It is, it's fucking sad, man. It is, it is. <laughs> Just, it is. Who, who the fuck wrote this? Hold on, let me, let me see who the fuck wrote this shit. George Sachs, PhD. <laughs> fucking uh, oh, here, number four. I jumped to number five. Number four, masochism. When a white liberal guilt runs amok, it may become deep-seated, a deep-seated need to take his or her radical lumps. So even, God, so it's even wrong when when they like, okay, go ahead, kick my ass. Verbally kick my ass. I won't fight back. <laughs> so you are wrong if you fight back you are wrong if you don't fight back you wrong if you apologize okay number six defensiveness but you know me I'm not racist 
So you can't even defend yourself in any type of way. The, this response is uh, confrontation. Hap- uh, to confrontation happens all the time. A white person reminds black people that they personally owned no slaves. Their relatives marched with Dr. King, and they were into NWA before they got big. So obviously, they're not that they're in the clear reg- uh, regarding racism. What? It, like honestly. So what? So we're just supposed to be like, well, I am racist. Okay, you admit that you're racist. Even if you're really not racist, then what's the point? What's the point in even doing anything? Like, what, 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 like, honestly, what the fuck do you want from people? What the fuck do you want from people? Even when they're with your cause, even when when they show no, like, uh, honestly, honestly, th- like, my criteria for a racist white person is this. You, th- you, you, you demand that I fall in line by your say-so. Uh, you call me a racist slur. You, um... You try to keep me from advancing because of my color. You burned a cross in my front lawn. Um, you you try to attack me because of the color of my skin. If you're not doing any of that, congratulations, you're not racist. Like what? What? Like look, if somebody could call in, um, I, I got the Skype open. That's Crotch Out Radio on Skype. Also, you call the number at 347-927-6824. The number again is 34... Uh, do I even have this shit on? Do I even have... Oh, wait. Do I have it done? Google Hangouts. Okay. Uh, I also have uh, the, uh, the Google Hangouts number, 347-927-6824. That's 347-927-6824. And uh, get on the show if you guys want to discuss this. I'm on for the next 10 minutes. And then it's Sire Unless I get a good conversation going and then... Uh, so. Alrighty. What's going on? Call the Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. And they're like, at some point, Whoop. they're like, you know... Whoops. So what if if no matter what I'm gonna oh, do, I'm motherfucker. Da, da. Nah, da, da. All right, there we go. So, okay. We got Darnell watching. Uh, when were you part of the 9/11 Truth Movement? Has any any ever called you a spick or a nigger? Um. No. No, they 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 called me a fat fuck, like over and over and over again, Darnell, over and over and over again. Wait, how come this didn't pop up in the chat? Oh, it did. Oh, my bad. Yeah, Darnell. Yeah, I got Darnell. Yeah, when were you? He said he asked me when you were part of the nine eleven truth movement. Has anyone ever called you a spick and a nigger? No, but they've called me a fat fuck. So. But, you know, they, they did other things. When I was with We Are Changed, they did other things to, to fucking um, gaslight me. So, but, um, yeah. All right, back to the Huff Poke. <laughs> so, the pain game. You're not the only ones. My family was whipped out in the Holocaust. The micro micro invalidations are meant to silence, diminish, and de- de- denigrate the experience of a person of color. Comparisons made to other races or cultural groups are incense. So, okay, so if 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 I co- if my family was killed in the Holocaust, if I have family killed in the Holocaust, it, hell, there's still places in Europe where they hate Jews. So your pain, your experience is more important than mine. 
but I'm still a racist. I'm a racist. I can't be a racist. But hey, you can't. We can't. You can't even form a camaraderie. Camara, uh, can't. Why can't I say that? A camaraderie. Com, a camaraderie. Camaraderie. <laughs> Comparing slavery and three thousand three hundred years of oppression to the Holocaust. Why the fuck not? Hell, how's about three thousand years? Hell, have you heard about this little thing called uh, Egyptian slavery? I mean, fuck. How you think the pyramids got there? Oh, man. So basically, this article is like, here, worship worship black dick. Like, whatever. That's, that's what it is. We just worship black people. Yeah, just accept that you're racist, that there is no redemption for you, and just keep stay, keep being in guilt. Keep your white guilt going, and so that way we could run, we could, we could enslave you via gaslighting. This is other bullshit. Hey, white, wait, white liberals, join us. Join us. As long as you're not calling people the N word or calling people spicks or wetbacks or whatever. And you actually want to see people, genuinely want to see people do well for themselves? Join us. We're not going to make you feel like shit. We will allow you to grow. We will allow you to learn. We will allow you to make the mistakes so that way you can learn from them. Come, come, come. I don't believe, like, honestly, a lot of white people, I don't believe that they're racist, unless you're a fucking liberal. <laughs> and that's only after you say some dumb shit to me. <laughs> like, like, you're a race traitor, or, or you, like, <laughs> or you're a spick, you're a nigger. Like, if you, if you come at me like that, then I'm going to call you, I'm going to consider you a racist. But if you're not, like, come on, come, come, come on. Oh man, racial racial resume. Many white liberals keep a mental multicultural resume to be submitted as evidence of racial intolerance. I voted for Obama. That's not enough either. <laughs> like honestly, what like this article has yet like oh god, let me All right. Oh, God. White. Uh, okay. Number nine, white guilt. According to racism root kit, the racism root kit, understanding the insidious uh, insidiousness of white privilege, a person's experiencing white guilt may attempt to provide comfort as it to make up for the in, indignations expressed by the person of color. I feel terrible about all the police brutality against black people. We may want to do the right thing, but because no real change or self-examination is engaged, no. Okay, what what would be the, the point of self-examination? Okay, oh, hmm. What if you examine yourself and be like, I'm really not racist? No, I'm really not, um, you know profiting from white supremacy <laughs> white supremacy I'm not benefiting hmm what if huh this what the fuck okay number 10 intellect intellectualization as a defensive tool a white person might bring up so, uh, societal exceptions and success stories to negate the experience of someone but we have a black president god damn it what do you want what do you want just tell me it's not that simple what do you want what do you want 
If you're still with me and not asleep, check out the totally confused, overwhelmed, or or defensive, then you're probably an open-minded white person. I'm a person of color, and I'm fucking pissed off. As a person of color, I'm fucking pissed off. Like, the fuck you mean, son? The fuck you mean? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. What the fuck you mean? Goodness. I, I feel bad for the these white liberals now. Like, honestly, I feel bad. But which gives me uh, some weapons to use against them now. <laughs> Thank you, Huffington Post. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a weapon to use against white liberals. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Fucking stupid asses. What? And if any white liberals would listen to this, is it really worth it? Is that going through all that shit really worth it? to hate Trump for what there is no proof evidence whatsoever that he's a racist there's plenty of proof of him doing uh, plen- more good for black people than Barack Obama, uh, Barack, Obama. Uh, Bar- Barack Obama did <laughs> join us educate yourselves Honestly, let's build let's 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 make this country better for everyone. You stop feeling guilty because you're not going to heal yourselves being guilty. You're going to just hurt yourselves more and more and more and more. And honestly, reading this article, it's not going to do you any good. Huffington they they have provided no way out. These 10 examples provide you no way out to to finally prove, to finally prove to yourself and others that you are not racist. It's just, well, if you're white, you're racist. There's nothing you can do about it. Like, and that's bullshit. That's bullshit, and you know that's bullshit. This is just gaslighting. Trying to make you look crazy no matter what you do. Why would you put up with this? There is no reason to put up with this. None. Anyways. um, Do, 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 do. Anyways, like to thank everyone for listening to the show today. Thank you. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, and uh, as always, from my house to your house, m- mahalo. And that's the end of my show, donk. Help the Crowd Shout Radio Show grow and thrive by doing something you already do. Shop on Amazon. Amazon always has great deals for whatever you are looking for. From survivalists and riot gear to beanie babies. Next time you're going to shop at Amazon, use my link. The prices stay the same, but I get credit for the sale. Just go to tinyurl.com slash B and just shop normally knowing that you're helping support the Crowd Shout Radio Show. That's tinyurl.com slash Louis B.